And yes, we're back after being in County Durham on Saturday. We're staying local for a couple of games because, yeah, I need to this week. But yeah, we're back. We're in the match day is back in the Northern Counties and we're heading off to Redford FC against Wakefield. So it's been a long time since we've done Redford and I'm definitely looking forward to it. Like I say, it's been a while since they've been on the channel, so it'll be good to have them back. So it's good to have Wakefield as well. Good, good fan base, so I'm expecting a few to there tonight. So, yeah, let's do a walking montage to the ground. So here we are then, this is the closest stadium to my house. That is mad and yeah, actually rather impressive. So when we were last at Redford, it must have been pre-season when we did a vlog, which was the, the workshop game, which was, well, I mean, we saw a brilliant goal. It was Terry Orkish that scored it. So but yeah, always like coming back here, that's just, um, I've just seen him, the, the photographer that always, always gets me at Redford. In fact, I'm going to queue a picture somewhere to say that he's got me so many times. I have to say, it will be tougher than what they think actually, Wakefield tonight, because Redford are one of those sizes, they're a strange side, but they can pull off a bit of a shot when they need to. But I'm going to go 2 2, I'm going to for a draw tonight. I'm going to feel plenty of goals. That's awesome on Saturday, so yeah, looking forward to it. First half starting now. Here we go. There it is, Wakefield Ultras, here in town. Come on now, let's do this then. Let's do this. I have to say, goalkeeper, literally, stuck out like a sore thumb with them gloves on. Hey look, I spot a dog at the football. Great to have that back. I love the fact that Chris Woodhead has actually got a coffee in his hand whilst he's managing. Do you know what? That is just peak non-league right there. Honestly, imagine someone like Jurgen Klopp or Pep Guardiola with a coffee in their hand whilst they're, whilst they're managing. It'd be a meme in five seconds. Bap house. Mm. No chance. No chance. No chance. I want to give a little shout out to Levy Owen, who's the goalkeeper at Redford, although he's still pretty small from what I remember from him. There he is. The photographer is a superstition of where he is. He still hasn't got me yet. Here we go then. Rory the lap. Mm. Oh. Back in then. Oh. Keepers. Keepers. Oh, surely! No, yeah. And then, always gonna bring you back. Oh, well then. Right then, my prediction is gonna cross it, someone's gonna head it, and it's gonna be a goal. Mark my words. I tell you what, taxi for number six. Go on then. That's the ball. He's in. What a save. Surprised uh, Levy could save that, given he's quite small. Go on then. Go on. Back post. Oh, what a save. He was on. He was just. He used to go to anger management. Look at that. I love how the dogs just take a relaxed approach to this game. Nice. Oh. Oh. Bit of quality he needs. It's nice. Oh. Got it. Nice. Wow. I tell you what, that would have been goal of season easy. What's that? No game. Are you stalking me or what? I don't. I don't know if you're stalking me with that hat. I've had three cancellations today. Yeah. Parkgate got called off. Yep. Nostril got called off. Yes. And this one nearly called off. Yes, it did. So I managed to get round. So I'm doing well. Yeah, you're doing uh, well. 
a quick mention for Rossington are doing a charity match for me yep. and giving me all the gate receipts. Fantastic. And I'm up to 134,000 and this is my 102nd game this season. Good day, mate. Thanks to everybody. Well done. Well done. Luck. Yes. Cheers, mate. All right. Cheers, oh, it's like a defensive head of that. <laughs> Go on then. Nice. Go on. Effort. What a save. One for the cameras there, Keats. They scored. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, he's, he's giving it some tip fans as well. <laughs> wow. Wowzers. Talk about, talk about shit house for you. That's what they get for the playing around the back. And Retford are taking the lead. Well, <laughs> rescuers, rest talking to the line now. Well, I think there'll be some repercussions, I think, especially for the celebrations, I think, maybe. What's it going to be, then? <laughs> well, yeah, I'd like to, but... What's he, what's, he, what's he doing? Go on. Oh, nothing. Oh, so that was a complete waste, then. What's he... Well, well <laughs> if there's anything more, one of, one of the lights has gone out. I think we want to wait for fans to go up 50p meter, please. And we are now in complete darkness. Yeah, Bowser's. We can't play football in this. I swear to God, if this game gets abandoned, because <laughs> at least I'll have a title saying first ever abandoned game on the channel. <laughs> oh, if it, you know, I, I, don't, I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh look, people bring out the torches. <laughs> this is this is brilliant. Pete non-league at, at its best. Well, we've got one update. One of the lights has come back on, so there's a there's a start. Well, there we go. We have light. So at least the game's not going to get abandoned. Thumbs up. <laughs> well, we're finally back on the way. <laughs> well, there we go. The longest first half has come to an end. 1-0. Um, do you know what? Absolute carbon copy of what they did at Parkgate. Just tippy-tappy football. And they've gone and mistake. And to be fair, it's a great finish, but some ultimate shithousery, I have to say. But I have to say, up until that point, the game was even. Both teams had chances. I thought Wakefield had a bit more possession, but apart from that, I thought it was fairly even. But I have to say, this game is far from over, that's for certain. Well, it will be here till Sunday if the if the lights are still playing up. But don't worry, I've not sabotaged anything. All they need to do is put 50p in the meter. Got it back on the way. <laughs> Go for it. Oh, plenty of ooze. Oh. That's a free kick. Yeah. Oh, he's given a pen. He's given a pen. Well. Well, that's, I can't really see from where I am, but yeah. <laughs> Here we go then. Bottom right. Saved! Oh, now we've scored. Wowzers. Wow, making up noise. Wowzers. One all. Oh, wow. Here we go. Off. Oh, no. He's in. Surely. Surely. Oh dear! How's he not? How's he not scored from there? That's that's embarrassing. Did you get? What did you make? Fifty-one eighty-two, oh. mate. Yeah, well done, mate. Thanks, Scott. Yeah. Well done. It's it's all it's always about the heart. Go on then. Oh, Ronaldo shop. Free kick. Yeah. No, oh, the bit of shit out as well. <laughs> well, well, refs going over to Lionel. What's he saying now? He's saying I want to be off by half ten because you know I've got something recorded. Here we go. He's gone for it. Wowzers. That would have been some goal, I have to say. Go on then. Go on, Ames. Go on, Ames. Challenge. You don't see that anymore. Then. Wow. What a save. What a save. Oh no. He's offside. Let's just hope one of these teams don't bottle it. Here comes Rory Lap. Oh wow. 
Oh, got back in then. Touching cross. No, it's his head. It's his head there. No chance. And then take two. Oh. Mm. What do you see there, ref? That ball's back here then. Should have gone to spec savers. There we go. All done. Great game. We'll speak in a sec. Yeah, so in the end, I thought probably the point was about right, really, for the two teams. I think, I don't think neither side I thought were good enough to, to take the three points today. I think both teams had chances, really did, but I think Wakefield at times had a lot of possession, which is what I thought they would. But yeah, I just think in games like that, Especially with a team I'm going to allow you to have time on the ball. I think it's always going to be difficult. They had, they had chances, but I think up until that point, they didn't really have a, clue, a proper clear-cut chance in the game. But, you know, quite a credit to do to Redford. I thought they had a game plan and they stuck to it. And I think they are a club in transition at the moment, I think, this season. Whether they finish in the top ten, I think that'd be a good season for them. I think they'll look to push on next season and try and get into the playoffs. But... Um, Wayford have got a lot, a lot to play for at the moment. They're still fighting um, to get into the playoffs, potentially maybe win the league. It's uh, it's going to be a hard league. There's a lot of games, a lot of points to play for. This is why I love Northern County so much because there's so many good teams. But yeah, good to be back. We're staying local tomorrow, so you know what to do. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and yeah, peace.